Hi everybody and welcome to the vlogs of week 6 of my stay here in Iceland. Um, as you can see, I look a little bit different. Uh, I'm wearing a hat right now and underneath the hat is a new haircut. I excuse myself for the messy hair right now, but as you can see as I move it a little bit to the side, I cut the, sh the sides and the back completely short. And on the top, I kept my curls, which gives it a pretty nice, you could say, 80s look. But uh, yeah, I am really glad with this haircut. And uh, even though it's a lot colder now here in Iceland, uh, and without the hairs in my neck, I really need to wear a scarf really often. Luckily, my room is nice and warm, so I don't have a problem at all. Now, to hide this mess of a hair, I'm going to wear my hat. Uh, I actually uh, got this hat today, uh, it's pretty new, I went to the mall today uh, to get some presents for my brothers, uh, one's uh, birthday was last month and I'm gonna send him it in, in the box, and the other one's birthday is in April, so uh, he will have to wait for a little bit until he's allowed to unwrap his present. Um, so yeah, that was the main goal, and I came home with a lot of things. I came home with a new hat and uh, one for uh, cosplay purposes, another one um, just a simple beanie, but uh, this one actually manages to cover my ears. Further, I came back with a new skirt and a belt, so I'm wearing that one right now, and as you can see it's very nice fabric, so I'm really happy with that too. And uh, I managed to get a very nice new scarf that you guys will see in the upcoming pictures at the end of this video. Um, now, a little thing that I've noticed in the past vlogs, I could say, I haven't reacted on the comments uh, that I've seen, uh, but yeah, we have uh, someone who is actually commenting and really interesting in the things that I'm doing here, and I'm really, really happy that uh, you are actually showing interest in the things uh, that I'm doing right here. And even though that interest is mainly in the, the vampire course that I follow here at the University of Iceland. Now, I can tell you a little bit about that uh, course. I won't do that here in the video because, well, some people might not be as interested. So I owe you a, a proper reply on one of your comments. And I will make that reply as soon as possible. Uh, but yes, I'm really happy that you stumbled upon my videos and that you are actually interested in the things that I talk about. Uh, even though it's mainly about me be doing fun things, but also me trying to survive schoolwork. Um, talking about schoolwork, this Friday I had to work my ass off to finish an assignment which was due to today. I uh, luckily handed it in uh, just that same day, but it was... That was a piece of work, though. Uh, I'm not really used anymore to the fact that I need to write essays or write out assignments uh, so it was really getting used to again to actually start doing research and start looking up in books uh, what certain things meant luckily i was able to use material from my previous uh, assignments uh, from the university in holland and i managed to put some bits and pieces together into uh, one uh, assignment so that was lucky and hopefully I'll be able to use the same kind of information also for upcoming assignments and researches. Uh, that assignment was actually for the course it's called EFL which is um, English... It, it basically consists of teaching English to adolescents uh, and mainly as English as a second language or yeah, it's a foreign language to those students. So, for instance, to students here in Iceland or in, in Holland or any other not English speaking country in the world, uh, which is actually really interesting. Though a lot of those things are, that are mentioned in class are very familiar to me, like uh, the, the classes that I follow in Holland uh, do consist of somewhat the same information. So, I brought a couple of books from home and I managed to actually use those really well for this assignment as well. So it was really good. I'm really glad about that, but my oh my, that was a lot of work to do. Uh, or at least it took me very long, because it was very difficult for me to focus on it for a very long time. Uh, normally I would be able to do that, but lately I've just 
had a bit of a bit of trouble actually concentrating on one thing at the same time. I'm now so used to multitasking uh, that it's sometimes really difficult to focus on one project or on one thing on one moment. But yeah, I managed to do that, and in three days I will have another assignment that I need to finish up. So most likely I will do that tomorrow, not on Tuesday, because it's kind of last minute. But I'll probably do that tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to finish that up. Uh, and I'll also be able to send in some ideas to the teacher and get some feedback on that. So that's really nice. Uh, the teachers here are actually really, really uh, helpful, and they like give you their email addresses and press on the fact that you actually ask questions also on their email and in the class, of course. Now, further, this week, uh, I've actually went out on a hike. You will see that footage almost the first thing uh, in the video. Uh, we went out on a hike very close to the Pearl, which is a, a very nice, you could say, mm, monument? Uh, it's actually a really large building uh, with this big glass orb on the top, which looks like a pearl from the outside, so there you have the name. Uh, and in the top they have a restaurant, and uh, they used to have the Saga Museum in that building, but that one moved. So I'm actually not very sure anymore uh, what they do there. I guess it's some kind of congress center of some kind, because, well, why, why else would they have that building? But yeah, we went to an area around the Pearl. Uh, they actually had a small forest there. So we went through there and we got information about the geology and how the landscape shifted over the, yeah, you could say millennia. And also uh, later on, we switched groups and we got information about the wildlife and the nature in the area, which was actually really interesting. Uh, I had to write a small report on that. I managed to do that luckily in like one day. And uh, well, I, I managed to get a lot of pictures of that and a lot of video material or relatively okay video material, but it was really exciting and I'm really happy I went there and uh, I'm definitely going back there because I really like the area. It was very beautiful. Um, you might be able to see actually in the video that it was a lot of snow in that moment. Uh, it was also very slippery. So on a certain moment, we were very close to the s shore by a sea line and uh, <laughs> I almost fell like four times or so. Luckily, I didn't actually fall because that would have been really, well, painful because there were a lot of rocks and sharp ones too. Um, so I didn't fall. Luckily, some of them actually, some of my, the people we were with, uh, we were with, uh, like some classmates of mine, they did fall. Uh, luckily, no one uh, got seriously hurt, just like some bruises, most likely. Um, but yeah, right now, uh, only. I could say all the snow is gone right now. Uh, most of it actually melted away. We had uh, very stormy weather. Uh, it's really windy outside right now. Uh, I had to close my window before I started filming because else the microphone would catch everything. Um, and uh, yeah, you can, you can kind of see in the past time uh, how everything melted away and uh, just how the weather morphed from really nice and sunny to really rainy and windy and blech. <laughs> so on Monday we had that wonderful hike and uh, I am very glad I managed to take a lot of pictures. Uh, further, let me think, well as I said I went to the hairdresser and well didn't have that many other Avengers actually because um, sadly most of the people here are getting sick uh, I noticed on myself that uh, I'm having a little bit of a sore throat and it's getting a bit drier and I start sneezing and coughing again. So hopefully I won't catch anything. But uh, right now, uh, both Johanna's mother, Stella, and Johanna herself are actually pretty sick. Uh, they are both getting medicine from the doctor and everything. And, uh, well, let's say it's not going that well with them. I actually went to uh, the mall a couple of days ago uh, on Thursday when I had my hair cut with Johanna and uh, she got really sick at the mall and we had to rush home and uh, quickly put her into bed and she had to take it easy and I uh, I just stayed home. So today I actually went to the mall on my own um, because, well, everybody's still sick and I actually managed to get a ride from her uncle. 
uh, his name is Otto, and uh, he was very kind. He, he's a very, very nice guy. Um, it's just, we have this language barrier right now. Like, uh, I can only speak English, and he is more fluent, of course, in Icelandic. And that makes communicating a little bit difficult sometimes. So, overall, it's we, we managed to talk about some things, and it was very nice. And uh, it was very kind of him to drop me off at... Uh, at the, the mall and uh, I managed to get a, a bus back even though that bus ride took me I think about half an hour <laughs> normally uh, I managed to get back in like maybe 15 minutes even less um, but this time I had to take a different bus and I had no clue where I was and which one I had to take I just went to the one that went to the university because that was about the only uh, and he said, station I knew uh, and where to uh, go when when we arrive. So I was in that bus and when a certain moment I was just so afraid I was in the wrong one. <laughs> but luckily, like less than five minutes after ma I made that footage, uh, I managed to actually recognize the area and we arrived at bus stations I recognized. And like five minutes afterwards, we I arrived at the... Uh, at the university bus station and uh, I managed to walk back. Though I've actually wanted to make some footage outside of course to match up with the video that I made in the bus but the weather outside was just so so awful that I <laughs> I couldn't make anything because you guys wouldn't have understood a word of what I would say, would say to you guys. So, um, so yeah I can't really come up with anything else that I should tell you so I guess I'll just uh, switch over to the rest of the footage. I really hope uh, you guys are enjoying these kind of videos and the way I edit them. If there's anything that you want to see or want me to explain on video or in, in the comments or in some kind of way, please let me know because I really want to know what you guys think. And uh, of course I am here and there are enough things I, I can elaborate on. So. Let me know what you guys want, and uh, I'll try. I'll try my best to actually put it in the videos as well. So, um, yeah. So, I hope you all have a lot of fun watching the footage and the pictures, and uh, I'll see you all next week. So, I'll see you all around. Hey guys! I wish you all very much welcome to day one of week six. Now we officially passed the month benchmark and it's now the 2nd of February and I am actually heading towards class. Uh, we're at the Pearl right now, the place I showed you in the last vlog. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys the absolute beautiful view we have. It's just it's gorgeous. I see my teacher right there, so I'll see you guys later. I'll definitely make a lot of pictures for this. And uh, as you can see, I'm wearing my sunglasses. The weather is absolutely beautiful. And uh, I'll see you guys all later. So, see you.
Hey, hey, here we are again. Now, as you have noticed, I was out on a field trip. I made a lot of pictures and I really hope you guys enjoyed those. And uh, I'm now on my way home, just took a bus. I am exhausted. I'm really tired right now. I uh, went to the Pearl and got myself uh, a nice cup of latte warmed up and started talking to some pretty cool people. My uh, Dutch friends and uh, also some Swedish guys. It was actually very nice and uh, yes, definitely want to do that again. Maybe not in the Pearl though. Pearl is really expensive. Like I paid 436 kroner for just a latte. That was a lot. <laughs> That's like equally to about four euros, maybe, th maybe three something. But uh, it was pretty expensive. But uh, yeah, I'm walking home. Uh, just some snow and sights. And uh, well, it was pretty cold. We were very close to the coast, so uh, I was very much freezing. So I'm very glad I brought this hat and I was wearing my ski jacket and everything. But uh, yes, it was uh, very nice. I really enjoyed myself. It was absolutely beautiful. And uh, I definitely want to go there again. That's for sure. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. And this was only Monday, so I'll see you all later. Hopefully till Tuesday or another day. I don't know. Bye. Hi everybody and welcome back to a little update. Uh, today is day two of week six. And today I finally received a package from home. Uh, now my mom told me that about 10 days ago she sent me the package uh, with some stuff and I have actually no clue what's in it. So I thought, now that I have it, I'm gonna make a vlog and film what's in it and see you guys opening it up. And uh, I'm quite curious. It's pretty heavy. Like I'm uh, wondering what's in it. It's rather heavy as well. I hear noises, so I'm gonna look. So, I got my trusty scissors and I'm gonna see if I can open up this box and uh, I have a safe way. There's a lot of tape over here, so I'm just gonna start right here. If you come here, open. Now, of course, safety first. Don't cut towards yourself. That's not smart. Even though I just wanted to do that. Yeah. Okay. So, here we go. Okay. So, first thing is a letter. And it's partly in English, so I'll just uh, read it out loud. Uh, even have an address in here. Uh, Dear Liz, surprise! Just some fun things for the kids and the family. Uh, we love you and have a fun time. I love from us all. And a big hug for mom, dad, and my brothers. So, I'm gonna add this one to my little wall over there with all my other cards. So it seems they send me some presents for Johanna's nieces and all that jazz, so I'm gonna go check. <laughs> okay, uh, first thing is glittery suspenders for uh, parties or carnival. So I'm gonna see. It looks actually pretty cool. I'm gonna give those a try. So, second thing, message boards. Oh, that's actually really great. Uh, for Austin's Leah, uh, with 
and now there's a donut on it. Really great. So the girls will get some presents too. And some packaging. Okay, then we have a little owl tent warmer. This one's from my friend Johanna. So you snap the little metal coin in there and it turns nice and warm. It's actually really good. Now, this is a little box for me with uh, memos in it. Just some simple white paper, but actually really handy because I kind of need these, like I always make small notes for myself. And, oh, a cute little Elmo for Johanna's uh, other niece, Simon Christine. Super cute. Let's see. Oh my god. I saw the bag of fudge, but it says for all, but... We all know what's gonna happen. We all know what's gonna happen. So, let's see. We got some more breakfast cake on my book. Oh, that's great. We actually still have some left uh, from the first time. We've been extra careful using it, but uh, now we have extra, so we'll use this. Then, what is this? Luxury Lotus Scrub Masks for Face. Okay. Yes. It's like a, a facial mask. And there's one for Johanna's mother, Stella. There's one for me and one for Johanna. It's really nice. It's good. I'm definitely gonna try this one out. And then... Oh yes. Chocolate sprinkles. Chocolate sprinkles. Yes. Mm, yes. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> and a jar of real Dutch mayonnaise. Oh, yes. This is good. This is really good. I'm gonna keep this one safe. I'm gonna make well use of this. Yes. Oh, this is great. I'm gonna love it. Then let's see. <gasps> they sent me bread! <laughs> oh my god! You guys actually sent me bread! Oh my goodness. You might actually remember in one of my earlier vlogs, uh, I talked about how the bread and the food is different here. Well, as you can see, it's a little bit squished, but the bread is actually quite big. And this is some real Dutch bread. And I'm gonna enjoy myself just so much with this. Yes, I'm so happy. Oh no! No, 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 no! No! It took too long! Oh! I think I actually just found mold on it. Oh my god. No. I guess I just have to open up the bag and check. But it looks like there's... Oh no, there's actually mold on it! No! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh man! Well, seems I can't eat the bread. Oh man. Now I'm bummed out. But there's still one thing left. Get some salad mix for the dressing. Um, I always eat, uh, I actually really like eating salads. Um, and this dressing is always what we use at home. And it's absolutely delicious. And I'm really glad because I specifically asked my mom to at least send me this. But all the other things are just big surprises. And I'm still very happy. Even though the bread didn't work out, uh, everything else is just in a perfect state. As you can see, the box is empty. And uh, I got myself and also Johanna's family some really, really nice things. The breakfast cake on my cook is a little bit 
squished. But as far as I see, the packaging is still closed. So hopefully that isn't made it. Oh, I'm still, oh man. I'm really sad now. I was really looking forward to this. Well, can't have everything, right? But at least, uh, like the mayonnaise and the chocolate sprinkles, uh, is just absolutely great. And I'm gonna definitely enjoy myself with this. Actually, normally I don't eat this, but, um, I don't actually have many choices around here, so I'm just happy with everything I can get. And, uh, I'm definitely gonna enjoy this. So, that was my little surprise box from Holland. Um, as you can see, there were some really typical Dutch things in there. And, uh, well, I'm, I'm definitely going to enjoy myself, and the girls got some presents, and Johanna got a little present, and we got some things from Stella as well, and uh, some delicious fudge, so he's going to... Well, I'll be fine, I'll survive. I'll survive. So, I'm really happy that, uh, that my parents and my family just really took the effort to, uh, to send me all this. It's really sweet. Uh, yes, I'm definitely going to do this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. This was just a little update on the Tuesday. Uh, I don't really have other footage for this day, but uh, hey, a surprise box is always nice, right? Uh, now, tomorrow I will just have uh, classes again. I might make a couple of photos or some extra footage. Uh, and on Thursday, I actually have an appointment with the hairdresser. So. You're all gonna see some pictures and probably also a video update on how that went. And you'll probably see the difference. So, keep an eye out for the rest of the footage and, uh, well, I'll see you all in the next update. So, bye! Hey guys, it's Thursday and Johanna and I just came back from the hairdresser and as you can see, I made some radical changes. So the sides are completely short and I have the curls on the top and I have to say I'm super duper happy with it. Uh, it is a little bit fluffy when it dries but that's to be expected with curls. But oh my god, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And Johanna also got a haircut. Hi. As you can see, her hair is now very nice and dark highlights. Yeah, it has the dark highlights. So dark lights? I don't know. But it looks great. We're very happy. We're pleased. And uh, now we're gonna go to the mall and gonna get some presents for my for my brothers. It's like the mall is right here in front of us, like the big blue building. So, we're gonna get some presents for my brothers and uh, hopefully this week or next week uh, we'll send it to them in Holland. Um, as you could see, I already had like the package unpacked and everything and the bread was just not good at all. So It was moldy. Yeah. <laughs> Sad face. So I had to throw it away. But the rest was just fine and uh, tomorrow we're probably gonna deliver the presents for the nieces. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna see how that's gonna work out. But yeah, guys, here's my new haircut. And I hope you guys like it, because I really like it. And if you don't like it, well, I guess you gotta wait till it grows back. But I like it, so. I'm gonna enjoy this for today by looking completely fabulous. And uh, yeah, we're gonna enjoy ourselves in the mall. So, I'll keep you guys updated as usual. And uh, I'll see you all Bye. Hey everybody, I am in the Kringla right now and uh, I thought I'll document a little bit of my experience here. I'm here all by myself, so that's a little bit new. 
Uh, Johanna is sick at home. She's not doing that great. Everybody's actually kind of sick and uh, actually their uncle uh, gave me a ride here, which was really, really kind of him. So, as you can see, I'm just walking by some stores and uh, I'm actually kind of looking around for some presents for my brothers uh, since one of them had their birthday last month and uh, the other one's birthday is in April. So I'm gonna get some presents. So, yeah. I'll probably make some pictures around here and uh, I'll let you guys know how it went. People are <laughs> kind of staring at me like I'm crazy, but I guess it's just kind of normal when you're talking to your phone. So, I'll see you all later and uh, you'll see the pictures. So, bye! for a little bit uh, just to sit down and uh, check my finances like I just spent quite a, quite some money um, but I discovered you have a thing like tax-free shopping here like I can actually claim a part of my taxes back which is pretty great so I have a big chance that I get like at least 20 euros back from what I've spent just a moment ago um, now as you can see, I got myself a very nice dark red beanie. I couldn't resist and I got myself one. And also I got myself this snapback cap. Um, I got it for the reason for my cosplay as either Dipper Pines or Tyrone Pines from their series Gravity Falls. So I just need to change it a little bit and uh, then it's all ready to go. So I'm, I'm really excited. I saw the cap hanging and um, I couldn't resist and had to buy it. Uh, further, I stumbled upon this really cool store, which is like this vintage store which had clothes from the 80s and 90s. And uh, most of it was secondhand, but it was in like an excellent uh, condition. It was a little bit expensive, but uh, I got myself a very nice skirt that you can just combine with everything. And also uh, a very nice belt, which I can just like wrap around my waist, so that would be uh, really cool as well. So yeah, I got my, managed to find a couple cool presents for my brothers. Um, very nice t-shirt and something else. Or in case you guys are watching the video, I'm not gonna say what it is. You'll just have to see for your birthday. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know in a different time. Of course, uh, I have some school tomorrow and since it's Sunday, I will edit this all in the video of today. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd give you a small update on what I found. I'm gonna walk around for a little bit, gonna get myself a drink, and uh, maybe I'll buy myself something uh, something nice. I was thinking of maybe a nice bow tie or uh, some jewelry, I don't know, I'll see. But I've seen some nice things around, so uh, yeah. You, you'll see it in the video, you'll see it in the video. So, I'll see you all later, and uh, yeah, hope you guys like the stuff. So, later! Hey everybody, I'm in the bus. I've been here for about 20 minutes and I have the feeling I'm really lost. I just uh, arrived in Hlemmur. It's like the end station of most buses. So, as far as I know, this bus would stop at the university. So, really, really hope so. We are going end up there. As you can see, Got myself a new hat. I really like it. Hope you guys like it too. Um, but yeah, I really hope I'm gonna end up home because at least I somewhat know where I am. Like I'm, can't really see much right now, but the weather is awful. But I'm in the center of the city right now, so if I were to be lost, at least I can call Johanna and kind of give her an in indication of where I am. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna end up home. Keep you guys updated, or at least I'll let you know if I got home. <laughs> Hopefully that's all uh, gonna work out. But yeah, there we go. See you.
you later.